I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cut him, it's up to be. I let it all in. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cut him, it's up to be. I let it all in. I ask you for the time. You got the damn right. Everything you do gives me butterflies.
Hello everyone. This is We are almost past the first round of all ELO legends. Group A and Group B have not started. Every other group has finished their first game. Only Group D has a game which with a 2-1. Every other game has ended with a 2-0 so far. Also Group M which was recently created. Here's Boo and Bob. They have they have yet not played the so three groups are have not played every other group has played at least one game and we are starting with the second round this is group k cage versus jonathan the winner goes directly to the next round while the loser plays against zap for a single elimination game hello blast alan and shiv so far i do not know if there are custom maps in rise of nations but you should check out the discord group there is a community there and ask in the uh, unofficial ron discord somebody may be able to help you with that with that being said we are ready to start the first game the bands are on the list here on one side we've got bantu and the other side we've got dutch both are very strong nations Dutch especially known for their fast start they have they start with a free market two armed merchants and commerce one research that these are huge bonuses for for a free start then Bantu they don't have any bonus start their villagers run faster so better scouting possible and their infantry are faster also with their civic one they get three cities they get two more cities instead of one more city these are all very useful things. Here, Cage is already sending an armed caravan for raiding. The armed caravans, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do enough damage to annoy the opponent. On this side, I see that Jonathan is... I think he already scouted the caravan. He's, he is getting his second city, and he will finish it. I don't think he'll get his third city there, at least not while this caravan is... Staying there. The bands are visible for both the players under in the overlay. It's a very tricky ban whether to like go for Dutch or not. I think there are more strong, there are more strong nations that deserve a ban than Dutch. But at the same time, Dutch also have this really nice start where if this caravan finds out about the city in time. This city can be delayed by at least 30 seconds. So here, the, here it goes. We're going to end up probably going to raid some woodcutter camps. While Jonathan was able to grab the center. Ooh. Meanwhile, Cage finds sugar for his second wood camp. He's also found marbles i don't think he should be using marbles cage has got amazing rares damn three rares already uh, they either give him wealth or knowledge both of them are useful to have but meanwhile uh great rares for jonathan as well salt gems and peacocks in fact i would prefer jonathan's rares over cages and cage is being a good sport he Indicates where th that Jonathan has forgotten about his scout Here comes the first raider So far obviously cage has got a much better start than Jonathan Cage is going for commerce too Ooh, And he's also using first The heavy infantry is here. Oh man, Cage is already aged. But actually, uh, Cage, remember Cage aged with Commerce 1. So that's huge. And he still aged faster than Jonathan. Hello, Hussein. Uh, there is a tutori Ron Tutorials playlist on this channel. Go to playlist, find that. There are some good build orders to become competitive easily stable 
coming from Jonathan uh, from Cage. He's already at 140 food income, and he is lacking behind in his wood because there's not much wood around for him. He could get this. That's what I can think of. He know he doesn't know about tobacco. He knows about the other two. And good raids by Jonathan. First first merchant is out. Let's see if Jonathan knows about sugar. He knows about sugar. So this this head start. This head start is what makes Dutch so powerful. Dutch can go to medieval age very very fast and then they can wreak havoc from them. Cage is also sending a horse archer to Sugar because he knows he's going to get raided very soon. Good idea, very good idea. Nice raids on, on the Hague. More raids on the Hague. One villager dead. This horse archer should be able to kill the hoplites. And I just noticed, no, nothing. I thought Red had a unit there, but no. Oh, good, good use of... It looks like... It... Cage might end up losing both of these units, damn. And also nice raids. So far, I've, I know Cage has lost at least three units. He's also forgotten about his cataphract because of those raids. While it's very slowly, Jonathan is taking the lead. Got a tower over there. Also got a stable. He's going for despot. No other research done yet. While, while I would say. Cage is able to defend very well so far. Yeah, N not bad. Another caravan raid. Cage should raid that sugar. It looks like a good target. I mean, Jonathan should. Cage hasn't found this. He could use. He could use some lookout scouting right now. Uh, yeah, Hussein, he's raiding with a caravan. Caravan raids are... Only Dutch have a caravan that can fire while moving. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do more than nothing. Militia researched on this side. I think uh, Jonathan is doing great. 52... No wealth income more than the Dutch player. I'm actually surprised if if Johansson wins this game, I'll be very surprised. Oh, but wait, wait, this is not going to do much. This car three, one armed caravan, two armed merchant. Come on, man, this is this is a lot. No other nation can survive this. Any other nation would have lost the merchants, but not. Not Dutch. Oh. Oh, Jonathan could have saved that, but still, good, good, good choice there. Eco wise, Cage doing great, and uh, Jonathan will be there. He's he's behind in terms of a lot of things at this point. Cage also gets his third city, and look at that metal in command, crazy. I do think that he should have got the metal mine here instead of there. That would mean this whole city becomes a hub for metal. Two rares side by side. That's a very uh, that's very convenient for protection. Cage is going H three. Jonathan will need some time. His early raids were very very strong, no doubt, very strong. But now. Oh, here comes some raiding party for for sugar. Well, Jonathan's eco is not as great as uh, Cage's, but I think this is the part where Bantu are slowly taking the lead. 
Oh, what a save. What a save. That guy had 2 HP at best. More raids coming on this side. Also, attrition researched by Jonathan. That's very useful. That is very, very useful. Very forward fort. Very, very forward fort by Cage. I'm not sure what he's trying to do with that. But anyway, Cage might finally lose the... Yeah, he will finally lose the sugar merchant. Well, it lasted for more than it should have. So anyway. Jonathan doesn't know there is a castle going there. When the castle goes up, his furs will be up for grab. Wait a second, I just noticed no government yet from Cage. That's a very late government. He's just getting Republic. Fourth city coming from Jonathan. Right here. <laughs> look at look at this trio. One militia, one heavy infantry, and one cavalry. This could be a co-op game where each player controls one and does missions. Castle is complete. Poor Jonathan still doesn't know about that. He's very late for the age. He's at 85 wealth income. Uh, very slowly, yeah, Cage is coming back. Cage is actually doing very well at this point. Ooh, Forbidden City. Did not expect that. But anyway. Here goes some raids from Cage. And Jonathan is sending... This, this wood camp is just mercenaries everywhere. These guys are fighting. <laughs> All the time. Oh, can 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 something work here? Oh, two more hits. Two more hits. Whoever does that first. Oh, almost, almost dead. This cataract. I don't think it will survive though. It will just die because of attrition. So far, Cage has been able to use his his Dutch defense very well. And that's 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 a tiny army for for uh, for being Bantu, but anyway, oh, Cage is going to lose that unit. Man, it looks like it looks like Jonathan is in trouble. No, uh, militia are not strong against heavy cavalry. They are they they die easily against heavy infantry and heavy cavalry but they're good, good against light cavalry and crossbows javeliniers but heavy heavy infantry and cavalry they they deal a lot of damage and they take less damage on this side finally cage has decided he's going to put some units over there i have to say cage has closed in all the paths for Jonathan to come in from there is just this leer dam I, I I think it would be very risky to come from this side there is no lookout over there though but still it's very risky to go from this side Jonathan could go from this side and raid but it's it's a very closed place here what are those guys doing come on <laughs> look at this militia just running around in the Dutch kingdom Cage sieging behind from the catapult, from the uh, castle. Very good strategy. The Buntu player here is already got his science 3, military 3. I will be honest, I don't think that Jonathan has been able to use that, that upgrade with the spot very well. I think he could have done much better. Because if he, he he hasn't raided as much with with, with the despot government, and with that, Cage is set for next stage. He's got fifty food income, fifty uh, timber income. He's also getting a tower here. 
So maybe if Jonathan wants to raid. But yeah, let's be honest. There's not much and Jonathan is also losing uh, pre precious scholars. He lost three of them. Oh. And he's clearly forgotten about those two. Oh, oh, that will die. Spy from cage. He is going to bribe one. Maybe just kill that and get plunder while he's there. But yeah, anyway. Very good eco for cage. No doubt about it. Excellent eco, in fact. Once Cage goes to gunpowder, it's going to be very difficult for Jonathan to make something. He is still far from aging. Cage has clicked up. He's He's got three sieges. Damn, three sieges. Not a lot of army, but just enough army to cause some unrest here. He takes out the wood camp. And... He is also now attacking the city of Chondwe. Whatever happened here, man? Whatever happened to Jonathan? Jonathan <laughs> has two light cavalry. Uh, just, I don't know what they're doing. But Jonathan needs to take them back. He's also not using the gems anymore. Oh. Don't run in there, man. Very bad idea. He... He's targeting the senator won't work though that cataphract is not upgraded it should it will die very easily four sieges damn is he gonna take the hague or what what's the plan here for jonathan Looks like he is he's going to abandon Chondwe. Converts 3 done on this side. 200, 250, 263. Crazy eco. Crazy eco for uh, Cage. I don't, I don't know how Jonathan is going to do anything in this case. Hold on a second. What? 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 Oh, Jonathan went for Forbidden City. I don't know what would Forbidden City help. How would it help? But maybe it just helps in taking back some cities, taking back that eco from from Cage. And he might just end up losing all of these sieges if he doesn't return quickly. Here Jonathan loses two sieges for nothing, no reason. Damn, I, I, I think Jonathan has messed this up. But also at the same time, not uh, Cage is not doing very good. He, he, he eco-wise he's doing very good. There is still a castle there that Cage hasn't found. Wow, I don't, I don't know what happened, but somehow Cage is, uh, Jonathan is still alive.
Jonathan, a uh, nice rage by Cage man. He he made sure the gems was not used. He's been using sugar for all the time. Whatever Jonathan was trying here did not work. Cage used most of the rares on the map, and he denied rares as well. This is one zero for Cage. Here we are in the second game. <laughs> Aztecs versus Russians. This is going to be an interesting matchup, especially because Russians, they are anti-raiding. <clears throat> Very hard to do multiple raids against Russia because of the extreme attrition. And Aztecs, they depend on these raids for winning. Jonathan did not start with the early military build, which is good against Russians. It's a, it's very difficult to make that work. Equal ruins so far for both of them. Here is a temple and stable from Aztec player. Ooh, that's a that's a third city right in the face of the Aztec player. If if Cage secures that, he gets this big mountain, a lot of wood, and there's not much. There is not much that Jonathan can do to stop it. Stop Cage. Zico already looks good. I just hope he doesn't have gems, else it will be. Extremely unfavorable fight for. Oh wait, Aztec player has gems. That's got to help. Gems against Russia works a lot. Looks like Jonathan is going somewhere for raids. Meanwhile, Cage is going for some of his own raids. This gems is going to be very useful. Now I don't think I don't think Cage should have sent a raider, especially a single raider. Does he know about? Let's see if he, if he knows about the. Oh, he doesn't know about gems at all. Oh, double raids, nice, very nice. <laughs> He's even using the unit there so hold on some raiders some raiders on this side let's see if he can pick up any kills one kill directly on gems on this side oh no 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 jonathan if jonathan loses the spot that's that's it that's the thing about fighting against Russians. The Russian player just needs to snipe the despot and that's it. I must point out some very, very strong rares for 
become very strong rares for uh, Cage. He's got horses, sugar, and anything within the territory, it will only get raided when it's attacked by a full army. Yeah. So far, I think some good raids from uh, Jonathan. He ha has been able to uh, get something out of this raiding. Not completely useless. Oh, Jonathan's going to get another one. And he could get another one from this. And the despot is dead. After th that's all. That's all. That's all John uh, Cage had to do. Now, it's it's up to Jonathan to run away from this before his units die. Of oh, ten attrition, ten attrition is so strong. On this on this side, Cage has got a keep. He's already destroying the barracks. Very good one. Very good one. Especially taking out the barracks for. Aztecs means that they cannot do the Aztec spam as you as efficiently for Arquebus later on. And this is looking like a completely different game than I expected. It's the it's the Russian player who is showing aggression here while the Aztec player is defending. I think he's trying to get the catapults, not a bad idea at all. Gets one kill, could get another kill. While the <laughs> while Cage continues to run around in his territory and get get more units dead. Ooh, a castle here for Cage. And he is he, he is loving this border push. Just imagine if if Jonathan did not have these gems, he would be screwed at this point. Maybe this would be a perfect, perfect counter for her, for uh, Aztecs. You have Russians in the opponent side, and he can't do much. Well, if I check the ruins, it's Cage did get more. Not a lot more. 150 more is not too much. The way you can play against Russia is you need to just go for the attack or for boom. It's, it's, very, it's very hard to continuously raiding Russia. If you're doing that, you need to avoid losing the despot. Jonathan is going on another raiding party. He doesn't. He actually doesn't have much at all in his territory. He he has to raid. He has to get some bonus, else he cannot win this game. On the other side, Kate seems to be doing very well. These units, these Rossini Lancers, they can do so much. They can do so much damage, especially if he gets the despot. 
that is big trouble that is big trouble for oh that a spot is dead what a play man gage is doing amazing Yeah, Cage is using a lot of rares. It, it thing is, it's just that Russia, they're so strong, man. Hard to. Ooh, these units are getting plus eight attrition now. And... The Aztec player is also aiming for H4. Now, once H4 comes for Aztecs, then they are at their strongest. And look at that cage. This is this is the kind of game I've never seen before. Cage is building a a keep here. Jonathan sees it clearly. He can't do much about it though. If there is a keep here, then this this caravan route is cut off. This is a great use of Russians. I have not seen such creative use of Russians for a very long time. And this also shows of the Russians, I, in my opinion, would be a big, big uh, <coughs> weakness for all those raiding nations. It also comes down to some luck. Imagine you pick Russians while your opponent picks French. Gage is aging on this side, while the Aztec player will also age soon. That's all about all the eco that Aztecs need. Uh, another thing is that Aztecs get plunder, double plunder when they destroy things. And in this case, in this case, the Aztec player is not getting any plunder unless the, the spot is around. H4 coming on this now the Aztecs get their true strength he doesn't the Aztec player doesn't have any wealth income his metal income also sucks the only thing that can save him right now is if he kills a lot he needs to kill a lot of units and fortunately the Russian player doesn't have so many units he does have enough to cause trouble but still not so many And now with these arquebus, that is going to be funny. For some reason, Jonathan has not deleted this. He's just continuing to create villagers and it doesn't look good. He needs to stop the creating these arquebus. He needs to get barracks. Don't waste your wood, man. Don't waste wood here. Why barracks there? Anyway, anyway. Whoa, six spies. Six spies. And zero scout explorers for him. This city is going down.
He's getting a scout. He's put scouts on infinite queue. And he also needs explorer. Oh man, two heavy knights bribed, one archivist bribed. Russian player is just taking the whole Aztec army for himself. I think this game... Jonathan got very unlucky. His his nation pick was exactly the the worst pick possible for from against Aztecs. I mean against Russia, this Aztecs they don't work as well. Or he had to play a different style. He had to boom. He could not have played the way he did. Jonathan calls we well played. This is a two zero. Excellent play there by Cage. We are, we are seeing, finally, we are seeing some interesting strategies. So I'll, I'll take 10 minutes break. And after that, we got Surge versus Doko next. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you. 